You're listening to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Each week, I'm going to be interviewing top realtors from coast to coast to give you a backstage pass on how they've created their amazing real estate empires and how you can copy them. Hi, this is real estate coach Craig Proctor, and welcome to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. My special guest today from the Vancouver area is Mr. Sonny Bender. Sonny, how are you doing today? I'm doing awesome, Craig. Thank you for having me over here. Hey, uh, Sonny and I were uh, were chatting here before we got started, and we were talking about uh, team building. Uh, as you can see, uh, the backdrop uh, behind Sonny, it says Your Home Soul Guaranteed Realty. That's the name of his company. Uh, he's got his unique benefit right in the name of his company. We sell your home or we'll buy it guaranteed in front. Up, up front and writing. And this uh, is a phenomenal company. Uh, he's looking for great agents. Uh, we're, what we're looking for here are draft picks. We're looking for agents that want to work for a company where we actually set up the appointments for you. I know that sounds crazy. We're not giving you leads. We actually give you uh, listing appointments and buyer appointments, um, which um, normally uh, you've got to figure out how to do that yourself, or if at best your companies may be giving you leads, not appointments. Uh, so let's uh, we'll we'll get into how that all works. But uh, our topic here today is how do I make more money and work less and have the freedom that I really set out to have when I got into real estate. So Sonny, let's go right back to the beginning. Um, how did you first meet up with me? It's a long time back. You know what I was doing real estate. I did whatever the Blue Clitch told me. Uh, first of all, the friends told me join the joined a brand, right? So I joined Remax thinking that the brand will give me business. And I thought just once I get a license, people will start calling me, right? And that's what it was in my mind, right? But that's not true. It's, cra it's crazy, isn't it? Uh, because yeah. when I was taking my license, it was the same thing. I didn't even like the course in the, you know, the classes to get your license are all about what to do when you get a client, how to fill out the paperwork, all the stuff to do. But like you, I didn't give any thought to how to get the customers. I totally thought the thing, same thing. I joined Remax. I thought, well, I guess, you know, agents, people will call into the office and somehow that the brokerage, the brand would give me the customers. We, we got a bit of a rude awakening there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what was. So I joined Remax and when I went to the office, I sat totally idle for one week and nothing happened. And one day I went to the, the office manager and I said, you know what? I'm not getting any business. She said, did you do anything? I said, no. She said, yeah. So you have to get started, right? So at that time, there used to be that big thick book, the yellow pages, right? She gave me that. And I said, what is this? And she said, you know what? Here are all the names and numbers. You better start calling. Welcome to real estate. <laughs> and, the phone book. And I said, where to start? She said, just pick up any page and just get started, right? So I did all that stuff for might be two, three weeks. I was and, and not they, they didn't even give you any training as to what to say when you called the people, nothing. right? It was nothing. it was like so you were kind of thrown into the, the cage, right? Yeah. Here's the here's yeah. the phone book. Uh all yeah. right. So uh obviously that didn't go very well. Uh what happened yeah. next? Yeah, then what happened is that uh, there were some agents uh, who said, Sonny, you should start doing farming, right? Pick up an area close to your home so that you don't have to drive too much and all those things. So I picked up an area um, just close to my house and I went in that neighborhood and I started door knocking and door knocking and door knocking and nothing much happened with that. And then I innovated. I said, you know what, let me make a small package and give it to them right and i went every time i gave a different package and different information and definitely the neighborhood started knowing me so they started knowing me and but no business right so that was the so they the knew second. you people knew who you were hey sonny how you doing they're cutting the grass but still yeah. no one's calling you yeah no one is calling me they yeah. knew me very well mm -hmm. that this is the same guy and they said hi sonny how are you doing right. and all that i mean it's a good start there. people know who you are but i think we can all agree just because prospects or people know who you are doesn't necessarily mean they're going to call you and i'll give everyone proof to that every one of us have had a friend a family member someone we know lists their house with someone else they knew us but they so that's what was going on like people knew who you were but 
you weren't getting commission checks from that. Nothing. So that that didn't go very well. And cold calling didn't go very well. Door knocking didn't go very well. And then my I saw there was one guy over there named Sandy Kennedy. And his uh, bus benches and transit shelters were everywhere in town. And I said, you know what? He makes a lot of money. Might be that's the way to do it. And I bought... Um, Full where was where check. was Sandy located? Sandy Kennedy was in Brampton at that yes. time because so, I started yes. my real estate in I started my real estate in Brampton. Then okay, because I, I know I know Sandy. I know Sandy in in uh, in Brampton. So I just yes. thought maybe because I know you're from Vancouver, I thought maybe there might be another Sandy Kennedy up there. Yeah. So uh, Sandy had a massive uh, direct mail farming. So I, yes. I knew him from my days in Remax. Okay. So you're yes. like, okay, that guy's successful. I'm going to do what he does. Yeah, so I did all that, and um, I was a young chap at that time. My friend said, Sonny, you look too young. You should keep some beard or a goatee or something so that you look a little bit mature. And so said, so okay. you're, you're, try, you're trying everything. You're, now <laughs> I tried everything. I, and we're going to grow the beard, okay. So I tried everything. So that that also didn't go very well. So to cut the chase, you know what, for two years, I did what everyone told me to do. And but nothing went very well though. So I was making six figures income before coming into real estate, and that was year two thousand six. Mm -hmm. And in the first two years, I was literally broke. I was hardly making twenty k, thirty k. And my friends told me go back to your old profession. And I said I've already spent uh, two years of my life doing this. I don't think so. I should go back. I should give it more try. And then I moved back to Vancouver because I was originally from here. So I moved back here. But during that phase, when I was moving back, I saw your magazine. There was a magazine called REM, if I'm yes. not wrong. Yeah, real estate magazine. I saw magazine. your ad over there and it said that uh, number one mm -hmm. agent Remax worldwide. And I was part of Remax. And mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Why don't I order that you used to send the things in a box yes so that, that's going back that, a yeah. long time yeah yeah i got that box and i ran those uh, small ads the classified ads in the newspapers yes with the 1-800 number and i got in the first day itself 12 voicemails and i said holy moly this is too good to be true man and I quickly closed the box. I got so scared. I said, this is like something different, which has never happened in my life. I closed the box and I didn't touch it till the time I moved back to Vancouver, right? So when I start, joined here with Century 21, um, so I opened that box again, started doing the 1-800 lines, the classified ads, the editorial ads, the display ads. So all those things started happening and then the business started coming in. And then slowly I transitioned into hiring an assistant who used to do the paperwork for me. That was year 2008. And then slowly I started building up a team. Okay, so we've got a relationship that goes back, uh, I don't know, what's 20, 15 years or so. Um, so back, um, back in the day, we were running uh, these offers. Let's call the ads offers. You've got to have a good offer. And we were running them, uh, you know, back in the day when you and I first met uh, in print and direct mail. And today uh, we have similar great offers, but these offers today are being run on social media. So yep. we, uh, Google, uh, okay, we can, uh, you, when you Google, uh, if you Google Sonny, you guys should all Google him. He got his name there. Just Google him and see what happens. And then Google yourself. Okay, Google Sonny Binder, Google him, Sonny Binder, Realtor Vancouver, and then Google yourself. You'll see a difference, okay? This is how we market ourselves. Uh, we can run ads on Facebook. We can run ads on social media, uh, and we still use direct mail, don't we, Sonny? Yes, we still we use do. direct mail because people still go to the mailbox. So uh, yeah. although the media, how we deliver the marketing message has changed over the last couple of years, the strategy really is remains the same, which is we offer buyer and seller prospects things they really, really want that they can't get on their own. That's the key. It's not easy for them to find uh, what it is that Sonny is offering. They can't get it from other agents. They can't do it by, you know, finding it on the internet. And you've got to the point 
where you get so much business coming in that you couldn't go out on all the appointments yourself. That's now that had, that had to feel pretty good from, you know, everything you tried up in that point, knocking on doors and chasing and rejection and growing a beard and everything they, they told you to do. Um, so you're back in Vancouver. So you're from Ontario, you move out to Vancouver. This is where you're going to establish your business. Um, when you got to that point, uh, let's talk about how that felt. First of all, when you got to the point where um, you had all this business coming in and the only thing that we know how to do when we first get into real estate is, is work harder, right? Yep. Uh, so, you know, you're working seven days a week. And uh, when did you decide, okay, I need to get some help. I need to grow my team. You know what? I think so. It was the within the first six months, yep. I got an office uh, because I was following your system, right? So uh, have an office and work hard, play hard kind of a philosophy. And uh, within six months, I had an assistant and she was doing all the paperwork for me, uh, finding properties, scheduling showings, any, any kind of contracts and all that stuff. So so I think so when I moved back here, it was literally from day one, you can say that I had an assistant. Always. Okay, uh, something I, I, I can uh, validate for sure. Uh, Sunny says, I like to work hard and play hard. And I remember in uh, in Cancun in March, I uh, definitely saw you playing hard. We had, we had a good time. We were in Cancun for one of our big events. It happened to be my birthday. And everybody took me out. And then it was kind of cruel because the next morning at 9 a.m., I had to do a presentation. And if you remember, Sonny, my presentation was on time management. And I was late for my own time management presentation because of um, the carrying on of the night before. Um, OK, so we're we're back. Uh, we're back in Vancouver. You're growing this team. Now, I want everyone to understand we have a system for generating leads. OK, reverse prospecting, getting buyers and sellers come to you. How many of you? think you could do better as a real estate agent if you had buyer and seller prospects chasing you asking for your assistance versus in the op the opposite you chasing them okay now some of you might say okay how does that work or what you might be thinking about is well we're buying leads now we're not talking about buying leads we're not talking about uh you know scraped information what we're what I taught Sonny to do was to be uh, the the lead generator himself. Okay, I taught Sonny how to fish. He understands um, direct response marketing. Okay, he understands how to test and how to track, and he's not dependent on anybody but himself. He knows what offers work the best. He knows where to spend his money. He has spent fifteen years studying Craig Proctor. Okay duplicating everything I did. So this is very important to understand that everything that I did, you can do. It's a duplicatable system like, like Sonny. So um, Sonny is uh, encouraged. You've tried everything else. This is actually something that works. The business starts to build. Sonny's working five days a week, six days a week, seven days a week. And like he says, uh, I like to work hard, but I also like to play. So this is cutting into Sonny's playtime at this point. So you grow out, out your team. And how did that work? Did you uh, did you make any mistakes earlier on that you want to share when you were growing your team? Yeah, you know what? I've done a lot of mistakes. So, uh, so at that time, I grew my team very fast. But uh, during that phase, I did not give them much of a training. And so what I noticed is that they were meeting a lot of people but the results were not coming how they should be, right? So, so I backtracked everything. I said, you know what? If I'm giving them clients, my clients to work with, they should be knowing each and everything what I know. So then I started too much into the training. So I now I train the agents everything what I know. I teach them the best practices, what to say, when to say, the scripting, the communication, the skill sets. So technically training a lot on the skill sets, right? So, and that's the main thing nowadays because information is available everywhere. People need the knowledge, what you have got. So I teach them a lot of things because I want to make them my exact duplicate copy. Does so everyone see, the did ever see how much, like you, you spend so much energy 
uh, when you partner up with agents. And I want everyone watching this to understand, um, it's not like you're working for Sonny. We use the word partner. You'd be partnering with Sonny. So if you're in uh, if you're in the Vancouver area, if you're in Surrey, uh, Vancouver, and Sonny will talk more about where he works, um, you want to be interested in having a conversation with Sonny and how to partner up because he literally sets you up on listing appointments. I know that sounds ridiculous. It sounds too good to be true, but we have a situation here where he he can't physically go out on all the appointments. So Sonny has two choices. He could back off the marketing, uh, but that would be foolish. Um, or he can crank up the marketing and he can partner up with agents that he basically is going to teach you. He's going to clone you is, is what's going to happen. And how much time every week, how many hours do you spend with your team members uh, coaching them and training them how to get the best results when they meet with buyers and sellers? So we have got training on, uh, actually, um, they have a training every day for, one is they have to spend 15 minutes to 30 minutes every single day at the university, which is set up by your home sold guaranteed realty. So they have to log into the university where there's tons of courses. So, they so online, to, online training, uh, they can, they online can training, flexible, they, they can, can do it when they want, but they need to spend 15 or 20 minutes every 15 day. To 15 minutes to 30 minutes, they spend okay. every day. And then every day around 10, 15 till 10, 45, we have got training on dialogues, what to say in different situations, those, those communication things, we got training on that. On Tuesdays, we got team meetings. That is from 10.30 till 12.30. That's what we have got. And the first week of the month, we do have uh, accountability uh, meetings uh, with each and every agent. What happened? How did the month go? Uh, where are you stuck? Where you're struggling? Or where you need help? Or how did the month go? All the good things, bad things, whatever, we, we go with that. Uh, on Thursdays, they got uh, training on the role plays. And... Yeah, so and so technically they I think so they get a lot of training. They spend closer to seven, eight hours uh, every single week on trainings. And that is more than enough for them for, for per week. Understand that the more money you make, if you were to partner up with Sonny, the more income you make, the more money Sonny makes. So he has a vested interest in not only providing you the listing appointment. So think about that. You're not spending your own money generating leads. You're not cold calling. You're not door knocking. Uh, you would open your day timer. And let's say uh, you don't want to work on Thursday evening. Okay. You're not going to get any appointments on Thursday evening. But otherwise, Sonny's office is going to book you with qualified. We qualify them. These are going to be motivated, uh, ready to act buyers and sellers. Your job is to take the listing presentation that Sonny's provided and the buyer presentation that Sonny's provided and to go meet with the clients. Now, that's what the training is about. The training is about, we want to make sure that you're super efficient. <clears throat> we want to make sure you're coming back with a listing agreement signed, not a story. So that's what the training is about is, um, how do we do this properly? You know, what is the best methods, the best approach when you meet with a buyer or seller? Um, now, this training goes on forever. We continually train you. Uh, so you're making more money, you're making more money. And then at a certain point, um, you would have too much business coming in. And then Sonny would would um, partner up with another agent. But we don't want to have you know, too many agents and not enough business. So this happens gradually. The only re okay, if if you if this was true, if you knew that if you partnered up with Sonny, that you would make more money and work less, how many of you would be interested in that? Because that's exactly what happens. The only reason that an agent in Sonny's market wouldn't partner up with them is uh, perhaps ego, right? Or maybe they're selling hundreds of houses already by themselves. But I never had an agent leave my team who made more money off the team when they did, when they were part of the team. And if you got into real estate because you want to make more money and you want to work less, and you how you do this is you partner up with Sonny and everything else is delegated, right? You're not messing around with the marketing. You're not spending your own money on marketing. You're not cold calling, door knocking, sitting in open houses, not doing any of that stuff. 
you're also, once the listing is signed, all you do is you send the listing into the office. Somebody else is going to bang the sign on the lawn, take the pictures of the house, make the feature sheets, get the keys cut, all those details that are important, but they don't necessarily need to be done by you. This is how you're going to make more money when you partner up with your home sold guaranteed realty. It's division of labor. Uh, I think everyone watching this would agree that the way you're going to make the most amount of money in real estate is meeting with qualified buyers and sellers and witnessing signatures. That's what this is about. Um, okay, so tell us about the market area that you serve. Where are you looking for top agents? Yeah, you know what? Our area is Surrey. Um, so it's a, a pretty big city. And there are some adjoining cities like South Surrey, White Rock, Langley, uh, Maple Ridge, Port Moody, Coquitlam, Richmond, Vancouver. These are all just adjoining. So, so we are pretty much in the in the in the hub, right? So uh, anything half an hour, whichever way we go, uh, we are totally fine with that. So, so we are looking in all of this area, Vancouver, Surrey area. Uh, anyone who wants to uh, meet with me get to know about me, my company, your home sold guaranteed realty, how it will benefit them and how the trainings work, how the appointments are being given to them. So I'm more than happy to uh, help them out. Okay. Um, if you're not in the Vancouver, Surrey area and you would, you're a real estate agent who also would like to make more money and work less, but you're not in Sonny's marketplace. However, you would like to do what Sonny's doing in your marketplace. If you're another place in North America and you're looking at Sonny right now and saying, hey, you know what? I'd like to have a super profitable real estate uh, team or brokerage. Then you want to book a call with me. Okay. And the way to book a call with me, it costs you $0 to talk to Sonny and $0 to meet with my team. How you're going to book your, uh, your it's going to be a Zoom meeting with my team and I, is you're going to go to proctorcall.com. So my name, Proctor, call, no space, proctorcall.com. We'll put all the information below. We'll have Sonny's contact information and we'll have my information below. I mean, you can Google either one of us and you should do that. You should Google Sonny, Google yourself, Google Sonny, Google yourself. But what's the theme here? Uh, Sonny's a good guy. He got into real estate believing what we all believe, that if I'm a good real estate agent, that should be enough. He passed the courses. He looked around at what all the other agents were doing. He did what his broker uh, and the other agents told him to do. And he was frustrated and he was failing, uh, but he didn't give up. Uh, then Sonny said, you know what? Maybe I should find a successful realtor to copy. Okay, and Sonny came into contact with me. That's what makes me different. I actually successfully sold real estate, made millions of dollars. Many of you know my story. I was the top REMAX agent in the world within 36 months of having my license. Now, I think most of you are familiar with the concept of coaching. If you join Sonny's team, Sonny would be your coach. He successfully does all this. He cares about you and he has a financial incentive. Like when you do better, he does better. I know all the brokerages promise coaching, right? They all promise training and they promise coaching. Well, let's stop there for a minute. A lot of the companies that promise coaching don't really deliver on that, okay? Their idea of coaching is uh, what happened to Sonny. They hand you the phone book. <laughs> That's their idea of coaching. Um, or how about this? Why would you want to be coached by someone that's never made millions of dollars. How many of you would agree that a real estate, a failed real estate agent is not going to show you how to be successful? And a lot of broker owners were not successful real estate agents. That's why they're broker owners, to be honest, right? They, um, they um, were not successful. Uh, Sonny's been a successful agent. Okay. I have been successful, one of the top agents here in North America. So you want to make sure that whoever you're getting advice from actually has a track record for successfully doing the thing they're teaching you. I know that sounds like common sense, but for example, if I wanted to learn how to play golf, I would want to make damn sure that my coach, my golf coach was a good golfer. 
not somebody that read about how to play golf in a book, right? So that's what you get here is you're getting a system to generate leads, to convert leads. You're getting the systems for presentations. You're getting the system that you're automatically plugged into, but you're also getting the coaching on how to use the system. If we just gave you the system without the coaching and training, it wouldn't work. If we just give you coaching without a system to be coached on, that won't work either. How many of you are already, you've already invested in coaching? I know some of you have uh, uh, your perception of coaching, rightly so, perhaps from your experience, but your perception of coaching might be, well, coaching is motivation, right? It, uh, a coach is someone that's going to motivate me. Mm, not really. We're not here really to motivate you. We're looking for people that are self-motivated. Uh, if you have a good system, you're going to be motivated. A lot of people think coaching is about uh, accountability. You know, well, we really don't have time for that. We're not going to like babysit you or we're going to give you listing appointments and buyer appointments. We're looking for people that can hold themselves accountability. So this is not about motivation. It's not about accountability. It's also not about um, old fashioned, old school ideas that are still being pushed on real estate agents. They're still telling real estate agents to pick up the phone book and to go knock on doors and to chase expired listings and for sale by owners and sit in open houses and do floor time and call your sphere of influence. Look, if you want to be successful as a real estate agent, you must learn how to attract strangers. Okay, if they've told you, well, uh, you're going to get rich uh, calling your friends and family in sphere of influence. I'm not saying there's not business there. I'm just saying you can't know enough people to get rich in real estate. I came to this conclusion probably in the first year of selling real estate. It's like, I'm not going to get rich selling people I know. In fact, uh, Sonny, we could argue that sometimes friends and family are the worst clients, right? Yeah. They want a favor. Exactly. So does this make sense? We offer buyers and sellers something that they really, really want. And then we make it easy and non-threatening for them to come to us. We get them to chase us. We don't chase them. Now, if you're buying leads and you're calling prospects, we know how that's going. They're not answering the phone. You can call them and you can call them. And I know a lot of you are. 100 phone calls to get two or three people on the phone. No, no, no. We have to reverse the process. This is about reverse prospecting. If they won't answer the phone, you better join up with Craig Proctor so you learn how to get buyers and sellers calling you, okay? They're on their phone. They're just not answering their phone. And when they're on their phone and they go to Facebook, they go to LinkedIn, they go to Instagram, Sonny Binder, Sonny Binder, Sonny Binder. And when they start watching Sonny's content, they're pixeled and they're retargeted. So go ahead. I dare you now. Google Sonny, check him out, because guess what you're going to start to see in your newsfeed, okay, on your phone. You may not be answering your phone, but Sonny will be in your phone. And this is how we do it. And we show you how to be a marketer first, okay? You can be the best real estate agent in the world, but if people don't know who you are and they don't understand what makes you different and better, if you're not making the right offers, you will starve to death. Many, um, There's many realtors... Uh, that have said this to me, Sonny, they're like, uh, you know, I know I'm a good realtor. I've been doing this for 20 years and I do a really good job for my buyers and sellers. Uh, but there's this other agent that came in. There's this Sonny Bender. This young guy comes in, right? And out of the gate, this guy's kicking my butt. It's marketing. Think about this. Probably in your city, you're watching this right now. In your city, there's a local restaurant. And this local restaurant has really good food. And they've got great service, but they could go out of business because nobody knows about them. Meanwhile, there's a franchise restaurant, lots of marketing. The food's not even good. The service is terrible and they stay in business. So it's it, when you own a restaurant, it's not just about having the best food and the best service. You have to be a marketer first. Sonny's the same guy, same guy that met me in 2008. He was struggling. He had the same talents, the same abilities. But we plug Sonny into a system. Think about this. He's been with Craig Proctor since 2008, okay? Studying it, okay? Working on this, um, succeeding with this to the point now where Sonny has his own Craig Proctor brokerage. Now, all you need to do 
today is say maybe. What would be the worst thing that could happen if you picked up the call, if you reached out to, if you picked up the phone and you reached out to Sonny, what would be the worst thing that would happen? Okay, well, you investigated it. It's not for you. You keep doing what you're doing. But what would be the best thing that might happen here? Maybe you're watching this for a reason. Okay, maybe we've reached you at the right time, at the right point in your career where you're looking for a system, where you're looking uh, to join a brokerage that's actually run by a superstar, not a burnout broker owner, not somebody that's like, well, I can't sell real estate, so maybe I'll be a broker. What if um, you joined a brokerage where the broker leads by example? Okay, the broker can take you by the hand and teach you the ultimate listing presentation, can teach you the ultimate buyer presentation, will actually care about your success because they have a vested interest in you succeeding. Instead of what's normally done, it's like, you got a pulse, we'll hire you over here. Okay, it's like a revolving door. No, no, we don't want that. Because Sonny spends so much time with his agents, we're not looking for anybody. We're looking for somebody that we uh, know uh, we can succeed with. So I want to thank everybody for watching here uh, today. Uh, you can reach me, proctorcall.com. The uh, contact info will be below. Uh, you're going to go to my Acuity Day Timer, okay? And you're going to book a, a meeting. We call it a breakthrough call. What do we do on a breakthrough call? Oh my God, Craig's going to sell me. Nope, I don't need your money. I'm not going to try to sell you anything. What I'm going to do is ask you some questions about your business. Sonny would do the same thing. Right? A conversation like, okay, what are you doing now? All right, what do you want to do? That's where we start. What are you doing now? And what do you want to do in your real estate career? And then you would tell us, well, you know, Sonny, I'm doing this right now. I'm, you know, 10 or 15 transactions a year. My goal is, you know, 40. And Sonny would say, okay, well, how come you're not doing 40 already? That's what you want to do. And then you would proceed to tell Sonny and I all the reasons why you're not reaching your goal. And those reasons are real to you. But here's the thing, we have been where you are. Whatever challenges that you're experiencing right now, uh, you know, Sonny and I are not gonna go, oh my God, we've never heard that before. We've been there before. So we're gonna show you how to get beyond where you are to go to where you wanna go. And it's easier to do it with us than without us. So the call is free, okay? You book a time, reach out to us, okay? I do believe that you are watching this for a reason. Now, Sonny, any um, any uh, last comments, uh, final remarks before we wrap yeah, this up? Yeah, what I really want to say is that I have done a lot of mistakes, right? I, I wasted two years of my life learning, doing all those things. So the point is that if I have, I have done those mistakes, wasted so many years, others should not. Right, they should at least just come and meet, and even if they don't want to partner up, at least they will get to know a little bit better how to do real estate. Right, uh, like the our company, your home sold guaranteed realty. We got a system, right? We have got a full training, like the full university is being set up. Most brokerages they do not even have any trainings. First of all, secondly, the trainings are being done by those trainers who have not sold real estate since quite a while. Right. So what's the point? And they're going to still teach you the same things. Mm. They're going to say, uh, make a group of five, six of five, six realtors, go out every day, door knock, cold call, be accountable, report me every week or every two weeks. What did you do? How many calls did you make? Uh, everything is in the numbers. Pick up the phone, dial and smile, all those things. Mm. Right. So, so the point being is that we did it. Right. And I don't want others to struggle, right? At least they can come and meet me. This company has got a lot to provide. We give appointments, right? So, Not so true. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, that's the key right there. That's the unique selling proposition with this. How many brokerages promise to give you listed, qualified listing appointments and buyer appointments? Not, not garbage appointments, qualified. What do I mean by that? The seller is motivated to list their home and the timing is now. We're not sending you out to meet with a seller that doesn't want to sell their home or doesn't want to sell their home for six months or anything like that. No, no. We uh, The leads come in. 
uh, of the inside sales agents call qualify determine the motivation and timing of the the sellers and the buyers and only those qualified appointments are on your day timer okay this is the promise we keep what you need to bring to the table is you're coachable we're going to show you exactly what to do consider this everything that you want to do in real estate has been done by Sonny and I everything you want to do we know how to do it so this is if you're looking for a massive shortcut to making more money and working less you're in the right place here uh so investigate it okay uh there's no obligation and by the way these uh these meetings or calls will be confidential so if you're worried about that well if I reach out to Sonny is is anyone else going to know no uh totally confidential we get it um we would respect your privacy same thing if you book a call with me this would be a confidential conversation now you may be skeptical you may think well this sounds too good to be true or um you know there's an old saying in marketing if everybody uh understood you and everyone believed you they would all be your customers right uh so we understand that what we're offering is quite unique here but remember I've created more millionaire agents than any coach trainer or guru Sonny is one of them okay now I have Sonny Binders all over the United States and Canada you may want to partner up if you're in a different part of the United States uh a different part of Canada or you're in the United States uh you may want to know well who is the Sonny Binder in my area okay and we can hook you up or you might say you know what I want to be the next Sonny Binder I want to have my own super profitable brokerage I want to grow a super profitable team either way it all starts with uh booking a call so if you're in the Vancouver uh greater Vancouver area Surrey you're going to uh book the call with Sonny uh what's the best way for people to reach you Sonny they can just call me uh 778-234-2000 okay and we'll have that below so you don't have to you know if you're in your car you don't have to um you know try to write that down and for me it's just it's easy uh well you can email me at craig at craigproctor.com but if you want to book an appointment just go to proctorcall.com proctorcall.com you'll go to my acuity day timer pick a day and a time that works for you and we'll see you on the other side Sonny Binder I want to thank you so much for an awesome uh, interview enjoyed uh, catching up with you here today uh keep up the great work and uh hopefully uh lots of uh, realtors in the greater Vancouver area will watch this and say you know what I'm inspired I'm going to contact Sonny perfect I'm here to help them and thanks a lot Craig for having me here thanks as always we'll see you again Sonny and thank you everybody for watching the Craig Proctor real estate show really appreciate it and we'll see you again next time perfect thank you take care bye hi this is Craig Proctor hey I really hope you enjoyed that video and listen I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business you see several times a week I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel what I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things and both are totally free number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel you're going to see a little subscribe button for you to click on and if you don't already have an account with YouTube it's free for you to set it up it's really easy it's free but you've got to subscribe to this channel and the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button and that's going to let you know every time I load new money making videos to help you grow your real estate business so make sure you subscribe right now you ring the little bell and we'll see you on the next video